We welcome you in to the Dick Campbell Gym for a conference matchup between the York Dukes and the Proviso West Panthers. We apologize for the audio delay. Connor Choi with me is Nick Gergoni. And the York Dukes have a 25-12 lead over the Panthers with the second quarter just underway. I'm paced for 100 points early. Martin Stevens for Proviso West on that three-point field goal. Now the Dukes trying to start off the second quarter. Strong. Sika over to Bernison. Almost sort of slap there. Now over to Connor Fitzgerald. Brendan Mullis with it. Swings to Fitzgerald. Right wing three. It's not going to go. Rebounded by Sika. Sika over. Now he drives. Has an open lane. Dishes nice it out. Dish. One more to Bernison who goes up and gets fouled. And that'll send Max Burnus into the line. York offense in the first quarter is really doing everything well. He's shooting the three ball from outside, from deep. I think about three or four players on, on Duke's roster hit threes from beyond the arc. They're driving the ball well. The offense is really clicking. First free throws up and good. Burnison starts off one for one. He picks up his fourth point of the game. Bernison goes two for two. And he's going to check out and checking in is Kyle Waltz, a senior shooting guard. Got a quick rest on the bench. They're a great first quarter. Seven points from Kyle. Oh, and this nice one's steal. stolen by Fitzgerald, who goes up with the left hand Ooh. but gets blocked. No, they're going to call it. Oh, man. A foul. I don't know. Was, that, was, that was all ball there. Must call him on the body on the way up. It's going to be on number five, Marvin Stevens, the senior guard. Fitzgerald able to get the first one. A.J. Levine and Braden Richardson checking in, checking out as Hunter Stepanik as well as Eddie Sika. So nice job by this Duke's second team. Well, yeah, you've seen a lot more subs going in and out of this game. Coach really... Getting other guys some playing time. Second free throw is good. And now Proviso West looks to respond. It's Drake Washington. Washington with it in some trouble. He loses the ball. Can't hold on. But neither can Richardson. And now it's a scramble for the ball. Coach Dunn's going to call a timeout. Good timeout. Ball on the ground. Richardson had it for a second. Ball in his possession. Great instincts. Call the timeout from Coach Dunn. 29-15 your score. Dukes keep their lead. 6.54 left to go in the second quarter. You'll be back. You're watching Boys Varsity Basketball live on York Sports Network. Welcome you back from the timeout. And the Dukes are going to start with the ball. It's A.J. Levine to bring it up. Now over to Pecos. Now back to Levine. Pecos has it. Pump fake now drives. Swings it. Levine has an open lane. Goes up with it. Oh, nice and drive. And he lays it in. Strong finish from A.J. Levine. Going up and over the defenders. A.J. Levine getting it done. at 31-15, pass nearly stolen. Now they swing it to the corner. Now back out, oh, it's a bad pass. And it doesn't matter. They don't call it over and back. So Pecos, could, no, Pecos couldn't get there. Now over to Washington. Now Stevens has it holds. Now just a short pass to Tracy Lee. Right back to Stevens, who's gonna pull up from way oh, downtown and he knocks it down. From Curry range. Okay. Marvin Stevens showing off the range. Cuts into this York lead. 31-18 the score now. Stevens just standing there at the top of the arc. 
just, just pulled up out of nowhere. Watt's gonna get fouled. They're gonna call that on Tremaine Allen. I'm sorry, fouls on KV on Williams, number 11. And Williams gonna check out in for them is number 15, Makai Nelson. Here, Waltz oh, for Kyle. three, and he knocks it down. Kyle Waltz up to 10 points, double digits with 5.31 left to go in the first half. Now it's a bad pass, and this one's gonna go out of bounds. Good tight defense from Brendan Mullis. And Washington tried getting it behind Marvin Stevens, but it goes out of bounds instead. We've seen the Dukes get a lot of turnovers early, early in this game. A lot, of, a lot of steals. I don't have the exact number, but I think like at least five steals already. Waltz pulls up. Knocks it down. Oh, 12 God. points for Kyle Waltz. Have yourself a half right now. His Knock. shot's just going. Shot is going down. Washington. Trying to get past everyone, makes the extra pass, but instead it's stolen by Levine, who throws it off of Tracy Lee, and it goes out of bounds. York's gonna keep, York's gonna get the ball, I should say, and that's a nice heads up play from AJ Levine. Yep, another steal, another turnover by Proviso West. It's really been the storyline. The Duke's now doubling Proviso's score, 36 to 18. Pecco sets the screen for Levine, who just throws it down the wall. It's Waltz, can't hold on to it, and now they go all the way down. By Marvin Stevens. Pecos went flying. Yeah. I'm not sure who the foul's on. So count the basket, but after the after the basket, it's a foul on Drake Washington for a push. How does that work? Ball went in and he pushed him uh, afterwards. It seemed very fast. It seemed like it was kind of like bang bang. You don't really see an off-ball foul from the other side of the court very often. After they score, when yeah. you're wide open <laughs> like that, I'm not sure what was happening on the other side of the floor. Like push came from, we were paying attention to the court. Absolutely not, we were lo just looking at Stevens. Now they go down low, Braden Richardson, nice right-handed finish from the big man. Oh, it's too easy, that's a mismatch. I mean, he's got the height. Get down low, go up, use, use your length, use your size. Stewald's gonna drive, and he can't oh. get it. Rebound, Mullis. Brandon Stewald just couldn't get the roll. And now Mullis over to Waltz. Waltz driving, gets it tipped up. Now Waltz gets his own rejection, and he puts it back up. It's 40 to 20. Kyle Waltz with 14 points. Now Stewald. Oh, here's another deep three that nearly oh. goes in for a second. Well, toilet ball. Yeah, Makai Nelson on that one. Now Levine drives. Now switches hands. Nice left-handed finish. AJ Levine with the basket. He's up to six points now. I mean, Provisor West, they're not even really contesting York as they drive in there. They just, just kind of let, let AJ Levine go in free for the easy layup. Not really clogging the paint till the last second, and that might be. But at that point, Levine's got all the momentum. Yeah, so. I know. Levine was going in looking for some contact, or bearing for contact, and then he just like, oh, open lane, went up with the left for the nice easy lay. Yeah, and 42 he, points. Yeah, instead he gets zero contact. 42 20, your score with 336 left to go in the first half. Dukes lead. You're watching York Sports Network. Back from the timeout, 42 to score. Dukes the lead. Now Proviso West looks for an answer. Brandon Dewald over to Makai Stevens. Out of Kavion Williams, then they go down low to the big man who banks it in. Number 44, <laughs> Yanni Cortez, the sophomore center. Cortez just kind of threw it up there. Got the bank though, why do you use the backboard? Levine over to Burnison. Burnison now just takes it, 
Back over to Levine. Levine looks, swings it to Waltz in the corner. Waltz is going to get the line. Already. Yeah, it's going to be on KV on Williams. He just completely wraps his arm around the body of Waltz. Proviso's fifth foul already. And that's Williams' second foul, so something to look out for as this game continues to play out. Kyle, 15 early points. Not even halftime. He's cooking. That one rims out. Yeah, not and it go, all it's, yeah, it's gonna us. be off the Panthers. Oh man. Brandale Stewell and Stewart and Marvin Stevens just run into each other. And Stewart's foot is out of bounds. So Waltz inbounds it quickly to Richardson. Over to Pecos, now down low. Waltz, back out to Pecos. Pecos drives, swings it. Burnison, who's gonna pull up for three. Can't get it to go. That's rebounded by Washington. And they try and swing it, but this one's just saved by the Panthers. And now a pull up jumper for Stevens. That's not gonna go, rebounded by Levine. Levine, and it's gonna lose it. And they're just going back and forth. Now a nice reverse lay in from Makai Nelson. Almost looked like the reach and foul on Levine, but got the nice steal and lay for two. That's what Provisos need, need to have. And they, they're gonna need to stop York, create those turnovers if they wanna get back into this game. Packhouse over to Levine, who pulls it for three. This one's not gonna go. Burnison gets the rebound, just hands it to Levine. Then he makes the extra pass to Richardson, who can't hold on, and it's gonna get stolen by the Panthers. And going up and laying it in is number three, Marvin, St or I'm sorry, Brand uh, Brandale Stewart. And there's another steal, an easy lay by Proviso. Two quick baskets, turn defense into offense. Waltz, under the basket, spins around and able to knock it in. Kyle Waltz with a nice post move, brings his total up to 17 points in the first half. Minute 42 left to go, the score is 45-26. Stevens with it. Now over to Washington. Back to Stevens. Washington now has it. Now swings it over Stevens. High pass, but it's able to be saved. Oh. And this one's going right into the hands of Max Burnison. Now Burnison pushes the four. Just makes the pass to Levine, who can't lay it in. And the second try from Richardson, he can't get it. And Pecos is gonna Pecos is gonna foul. I think Levine was waiting for the LAU pass and Burnison kind of passed it to him a little late. Yeah, AJ and Bernie went out on the same page there, Nick. It just kind of conf oh, good little, D. Yeah, good a little D. confusion. Great defense. Hands in the face. Yeah, that was great job by Proviso West. And now Connor Fitzgerald, Eddie Sika, and Hunter Stepanik check in for. Oh, and Levine on a steal. And he's just going to go up and lay it in. Easy basket for AJ Levine. I mean, I'm sorry, man, but like, where are you passing the ball? There's been a few of those passes that just been nowhere close, like right to Duke's defenders. They're almost like surprised that they're getting the ball right in their hands. Like, come on, pass yeah. the ball. In. Absolutely, 47-26. Your score. P timeout called by Proviso West. One minute and two seconds left to play in the first half. You're watching York Varsity Basketball on York Sports Network. Back from the timeout, less than a minute to go. Rizo West down big, Mackay Nelson kicks it over to Marvin Stevens. Down to the corner, Washington will lose it. And they're gonna call an out of bounds, so York doesn't have an opportunity with the fast break, but it's four, six, they can slow it down. But with the way for it for that long, Levine is going to lose. And he 
get it to fall. His basket of the game. Nice trap. Good yep. defense. Nice job by Connor Fitzgerald. He was fighting with it. He's fighting for the ball with Kavion Williams, and it's going to be called a jump ball. You know, a minute left in the first half. I'm sure Proviso West game plan was to cut into the Duke's lead by any means possible and not even able to get a shot off. <laughs> Sika over to Fitzgerald. Over to Levine. Levine just puts it up. Can't get it. Oh, nearly. Not going to really change how this game is viewed. The score is 49-26. I mean, what a, what a great offense. I mean, I think we've seen games this year where they've scored 49 points in the full game. And this is only in one half. How the performance I've seen out of them. On pace for nearly 100 points. Couldn't ask for many more from the offense and the defense. Defense was turned the steals. Really, the, they're bringing energy into this game, even though they they probably are heavily favored. Still coming out with that good energy, ready to play. That's, that's what you like to see out of your team. Absolutely. Nine minutes and 27 seconds left until the start of the second half. York with a huge 40-26 lead over Proviso West. We'll be back at the start of the third quarter. Connor joined Nick Gergoni with York Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. Third quarter coming soon.
Second half just moments away from starting, and we welcome you back after the halftime break. Connor Choi with me is Nick Gergoni, and York is up 49-26, and we're starting this off very quickly. Brandale Stewart has it now. Over to Marvin Stevens. Washington. And this first half was really highlighted by as there's a deep three ball that's not going to go rebounded by A.J. Levine. This was a half. That first half was highlighted, and Brendan Mullis lays it in. And as I was saying, this first half was highlighted by fast play. As we see a quick corner three from Proviso West. That's, That's good. good. Marvin Stevens, you see me struggle just to say that sentence. That'll ju that just shows you how fast this game has been moving. But York, while moving just as fast as Proviso West, they've been able to score at a higher efficiency. Well, Proviso West is going to come out, going to have to come out really hot. Obviously, I mean, it's a tall task to come back in this game, but it's definitely possible. They just got to get hot, knock down their shots, knock down their three balls, and get some turnovers. They got, they got to stop turning the ball over like you saw just there. Mullis threw it, and Drake Washington caught it out of bounds. It's got to be aware. Peckos over to Levine. Levine, now a nice little sh shovel pass to Braden Richardson, who's going to lay it in. Well, that's really the problem. They have not been able to stop anyone down low. I mean, York shot great from the three-point line, but I mean, sometimes you can't even stop that. That's just a team shooting well, but oh, nice bang. Drake Washington able to use the side of the glass to bank that shot in. But I mean, uh, York down low has been unstoppable, so they got to find a way to be able to stop that or, or this game's pretty much going to be over. Richardson over to Levine, not a mullis. Wide open is Pecos for three. He can't get it to go. It's rebounded by Richardson, who's got the size advantage, out rebounds three Panthers. Now Waltz spinning. Waltz, off balance, jump shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound Pecos. He can't save it. Thought it was last touched by Proviso West. Doesn't even attempt, but instead the refs disagree. Timeout Proviso West. There. Yeah, early. That's their second, third for, of the game. Yeah, they're second. Third. Yeah, third, third. Third time out of the game. Got two remaining. Come on, Mr. Dowdy. <laughs> Let's pick up the pace now. A little now, slow. Mom. It's okay. 53 31, your score, 6 16 left to go. Early third quarter timeout taken by Proviso West. We'll be back in just 30 seconds. Back from the timeout, 53-31 the score with six minutes and 16 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And with York keeping this commanding lead, if they're able to hold a 20 point plus lead into the fourth quarter, Nick, you wonder when we're gonna see what everyone has been waiting for, Pomato time. <laughs> it will come at some point in this game. Might come earlier than most games though. He's got a chance to do something he hasn't done all season. Which is what? He's averaging two points. He's looking to break his season average for the first time this year in a single game. That would be something. So if he gets it done. Waltz just completely uncontested down low and he lays it in. That'd be so cool. Just unfortunate there isn't a bigger crowd here to witness it because Chris Pomato, obviously, as you know, Nick, he's the fan favorite of the school. <laughs> Well, yeah, and if this lead holds, I'm sure we'll see mostly everyone to maybe even everyone in this game at some point. Hopefully getting some of those juniors, some of those senior role players in the game. They don't see a lot of playing time. Absolutely. They're, they're, they're a big part of this team, too. I mean, got to treat those guys right. Oh, with some yeah, with, without a doubt. And I think we'll eventually get to see some of these guys. And this pass is stolen by Waltz. Waltz pushing the floor over to Levine. Now A.J. Levine just going to give it to Richardson and gets it right back, goes to the left side, pulls up and knocks it down to A.J. Levine. What a pump move, and then the stop and pop. Absolute cash. 
Another timeout provides the West. They only got one remaining. Only kind of interesting. Yeah, only one timeout, so quick. Quick timeout, 57-31, your score. We'll be back in just a minute after Proviso West breaks on the huddle. York with a 26-point lead. You're watching York Sports Network. Second half action coming your way after this. Back from the timeout, Proviso West with the ball, trying to push it after using two quick timeouts. Here's a floater that's not even close, and it's scooped up by Waltz. Slam that Waltz home. Goes up, hey. slams it down, Kyle Waltz. What monster, right-handed slam, and that's incredible. Fast break dunk for Kyle Waltz. He got up there as well for his 21st point of the night. Have yourself a day, Kyle Waltz. And he gets fouled, and we see Brand new, yeah, brand new Proviso team. Not completely brand new. A couple of familiar faces. KV on Williams. About on the court. On yeah. the court. KV on Williams, Kunai, Almas Bekov, and Paul Willis. Waltz. Knocks it down. Yeah, he gets it. And new team for York. So <laughs> starters coming out. We got Stepanek going in. It's a brand new game. Checking in for the first time is Brendan Carroll. Bernison's back in. Fitzgerald's back in. And Sika's back in. So all the five starters come out. And they're led by Kyle Waltz in his 21-point game. By the bench's reaction, they might already be done for the night unless this Proviso West team can come back into this game. Yeah, they seem to be taking it. Um, a step back, just kind of starting to relax now, unwind. Paul Willis for Proviso West scores. It's 60 to 33. Brendan Carroll checking in. Now he's running the point guard for the Dukes. Now Fitzgerald, the left wing three is nothing but net. The junior transfer able to knock it down. His second three of the night. Really stolen by Burnison. Um, into and tra travel. And they, yeah, they're going to call it travel on Darion Harris. Harris is starting. Yeah. Running a little too early. Got to pump the brakes a bit. I know you're excited, but come on. Leads at 30 Slow down. for the Dukes. And Nick, you want to know a fun fact? I do. I went to middle school with Darion Harris. Really? He went to Churchville. Oh, I did too then. Yes. We both, actually, yeah, we both did. Oh, we wow. Had a, we had a, I had a quite a few classes with Darion Harris in sixth grade, and then he ended up moving. And now he's at Proviso West playing varsity basketball. It's always good when you see a familiar face. Now they swing it to Fitzgerald, who's wide open. He's going to try to look for another three-pointer. It's not going to go. Burnison on the re... I'm sorry, Stepanek on the rebound. He can't connect with the second-chance basket. Now Sika over to Fitzgerald. Extra pass. Brendan Carroll for three. Carroll knocks it down. BC bang, for bang, three. Bang. Dukes knocking down threes all night. 66-33. Such an efficient shooting day from them. Doubling provides a score again. And this time in the third quarter. That's Now that's, that's impressive. Absolutely. They kick it to Harris. And he just swings it back out to Tracy Lee. Over to Williams. Lee driving, puts up a left-handed floater. This one's not close. <laughs> charge. Yeah, and they're gonna and they're gonna call a charge on Max Burnison. One of the more awkward charges I think you're gonna see. He kind of raised his knee up. Well, Bur Bernie was standing Bernie, there for a yeah. long time. I mean, he was just waiting for him to come down. Finally came back to earth. Zero gravity shoes. <laughs> he just, got up there. It was just an odd looking <laughs> foul. They go down low to Stepanek. Stepanek goes up and able to get it go. Hunter Stepanek 
four points for the sophomore. And how many players on York's roster have scored tonight already? It's been it's been a very team efficient game. That's right. Everyone that has checked in the game except for Eddie Sika has scored once. But there's still two minutes and 37 seconds left of this third quarter. And an entire fourth quarter to go too, That's Nick. true. That's true. I did my math while you were talking there. It's, it should be nine players that have scored already yes. in the third quarter. Should be more to come. And Harris gets called no. with a second travel. First one, yes. Yeah, second one, maybe not. He certainly didn't think so. Do you play basketball, Churchville? Um, no, he moved uh, before seventh grade. Oh, before yeah, seventh before, grade, okay. Before, yeah, okay. I, I believe he moved before the season. Actually, no, our seventh grade basketball season was... Uh, no, that's the winter. I was going to say it got interrupted by the pandemic. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, because I was, I was on the seventh... Seventh grade and eighth grade team, and then eighth grade that spring. School got shut down. But basketball season ended before that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't believe Harris played for the team. And lane violation, so that negates Burnison's second free throw that did go in. Almost looked like he traveled again. <laughs> that was yeah. kind of awkward. Really high, bringing the knee up high yeah. on the struts. I mean, he wanted some help, but he didn't get it, so just sort of an awkward in between phase. Now, Harris. Over to Lee. Harris gonna pull up, and this one's not gonna go. Rebounded by Stepanek. And Fitzgerald's bringing it up. Fitzgerald over to Carroll. Carroll to Burnison. Burnison going up. Now to Carroll. Fitzgerald going to pull up. He and knocks it good. down. Connor Fitzgerald, he's got 11 points. The third player to reach double digits for the Dukes. And his third three in the night. What a Shooting three for four from deep, I believe. Yes, Great have, night. Have yourself a day, Connor Fitzgerald. This one's going to go off the hands of Tracy Lee and go out of bounds. Dukes have reached the 71 point. Mark in this game. Have they scored 70 all season? Or is this the first time? I believe they have. In one game. One game? Okay. Burnison can't get it to go. This one's rebounded by Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald over to Burnison. Burnison for three. Can't get it to go. Carroll is going to get called for a foul. There's only five players left on this York roster that have not entered the game. Chris Pomato, James DeSico, John Kellum, Noah Moskal and Danny Lieber. Yeah, you got some good players on the bench this year. Obviously, we'll be more part of this team going into next year as four of those players are juniors. We'll be seniors next year, right? Yes. If I'm right, yeah. Sika Fitzgerald, as there's pull up three, not gonna be able to be banked in. Liebert, DeSico, and Moskal yep. will all be seniors, so be prominent members of this basketball team. Now Fitzgerald tries another three and he knocks it down. Oh, Connor Fitzgerald up to 14 points. Everyone's getting in on the action and here's a long pass and this save but it goes right into the hands of Brendan Carroll. I'll give it to him again, he's open. Sika goes up and he lays it in so everyone that's touched the floor has now scored. Eddie Sika's first basket of the game. Going back to Fitzgerald though, I mean why are they leaving him wide open? I don't know. I mean, he's <laughs> last three, he's wide shoot, open. Shooting the lights out. Five seconds. Three seconds to go. Burnison swings it over. Carroll going to pull up from deep. EC can't get it to go. It falls just short. And it's 76 to 33. And we see the final five players getting ready to come in and enter the game. Here we go. And you'll see them come in and play. Some but, fan favorites. Yes. 43 point lead for the Dukes with eight minutes left in this game. You're watching York Sports Network.
back from the timeout. Some new faces for the Dukes. James DeSico, Noah Moskal, Danny Liebert, Chris Pomato, as well as John Kellum. They should get almost, I believe, a full quarter of action. You know what I want to see? I want to see every player on this roster score a point. That would be something, wouldn't it? They already got 20, 10 players, so only need five to go. I think they get it done. Full quarter of play. DeSico for three. There's and he's one. the first to score. James DeSico for three. Might be one of the better reserve point guards out there. He's just behind two great players. And Nick Dezano and A.J. Levine doesn't see the court that much, but he's a great basketball player, Nick. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised he doesn't get a little more playing time. He's he's a really solid player. Absolutely. The three ball from Proviso West is no good. They go up, and they call it on the floor. No, no, no. no it's good. No. And one. Call it and one. So that ends the Proviso West scoring drought. Their clock will be running, however, so it'll be a little bit harder to get all five guys to score, but. Oh, they need four now. Yeah, four. Still love to see it. They'll get it done, I yes. believe. You know, if it comes down to the last player, I think, they, I think they're gonna recognize it. They're just gonna get the ball in his hands. Let him do his thing. Do his thing. Do your thing. Tell him with it, up top. Now over to Pomato. Now into the corner for DeSico, and Our they travel. call him for a travel. Yeah, with this running clock, I don't think York will get to the 100-point mark, unfortunately. It's kind of rooting for it all game. They're on pace. All it's just hard. This. When you go up so much, you need the other team to score. So yeah, I know. The it's running clock does not go in play. And they call Kellum for a foul. I'm still, I'm sure, still scoring in the 80s, possibly maybe 90s points. It's still so impressive. 90s, a bit of a reach. I think they, I think 85 is a good 85, end of yeah, game yeah, yeah. margin. They'll, they'll definitely get 80. Nice. Oh, they call another foul. Well, now with these fouls, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just killing the clock. <laughs> we can guarantee this game should be over in five minutes and 32 seconds. Free throw is not gonna go, and Nick, this is just their second game back after the Jack Tosh Holiday Classic where they had a good run, but eventually they, did. they ran into Bolingbrook, such a special team with a great player in Davion Thompson, only a freshman, received another Power Five offer from the University of Iowa, not just a couple days ago, but a York true freshman starting conference play outright. As here's a fast break, it go up. Oh, he oh. tried going for the one-handed slam. He couldn't get it. And now Moscow has it. Now over to Kellum. Kellum back to DeSico. DeSico for three. DeSico knocks it down. James DeSico with six points coming off the bench. 82-37. Now the score. Just three points away from 85. Nick. <laughs> two for two from deep from DeSico. Just another foul. That's yeah, it's gonna be two shots. Fourth on the Dukes this quarter. <laughs> Chris Pomato. He's got two fouls. <laughs> Playing tight defense. Gotta love the effort. First free throws up and good. Just about four minutes and Proviso West subbing in the team we saw earlier. Now they're just switching it up by five. Now Tosico is bringing it up. And Oh, there's a wide pass saved by Pomato. Way to get on the ground. Who gets it over to Moscow, who puts up a floater. He can't get it to go. Rebounded by Kellum. Oh, put it up. Pomato over to DeSico. Oh, DeSico, get, <laughs> get the other player's hands. We need someone else to score. Kellum over to Liebert. Liebert down low, gets tries to get it to Pomato. Pomato put it up. has it. Into the corner for DeSico, who knocks it down. <laughs> oh my God. 
That's some great ball movement from Danny Liebert and Chris Pomato <laughs> finding James DeSico wide open for another three pointer. When do you see this? Nine points. <laughs> One of the I'm, last, I'm just laughing because like. Five players to enter the game. I mean, he's a great player. I did not expect this at all, though. Coming out, you're not. Three for three from deep. I mean, man. What a fourth quarter performance by James DeSico. Oh, they're up to your 85 point mark, Connor. Absolutely. Harris. Going for 90, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Pull up three. This one's not going to go. Rebounded by Pomato. Pomato, such a big guy. Only 6'2, but he's got a lot of muscle on him, Nick. And Callum's going to fall to the ground. Lieber back in for Carroll. Or, I'm sorry, Moscow, I should say. Throw Moscow out. Yeah, they did a couple of quick yeah. subs. Brendan Carroll. Not sure exactly why. Brendan Carroll's back in. He didn't play that long. The Seco, another three. And he knocks good. it down. Unbelievable. He's got 12 points. I don't know if I've seen, honestly, a more dominant performance from a player coming off the bench. Four, four from deeps, 12 points. So first half MVP Kyle Waltz, third quarter MVP Connor Fitzgerald, and fourth quarter hero James DeSico. <laughs> Coming off the bench. Harris for three. Harris knocks Ooh. it down. Darion Harris. They're able to get it to go. 88-41. Now Carroll over to Lieber. To Pomato. Pomato to DeSico. I, honestly, let him do it again. Give him the ball. Carol honestly, five. It. Over to Pomato in the corner. Pomato. Hey, he's open. Carroll. Swing it. Swing it. And this is going to be a kick ball on Darion Harris. No, they send it. I'm not sure. Why they send it down? He didn't call a foul. I don't know. They didn't call a foul. I have, I have no if idea. If the call was kick ball, it should be. Should it not be? All, only a minute ten left in this game. Who knows? Pomato. Read off for Pomato. Oh. He can't get it to go. Pomato able to save it. Carroll, DeSico, DeSico pulls up and he it gets it to back. go. Wow, 90 points for the, the Dukes. Dukes to 90. Unbelievable. James Less than DeSico. a minute to go. DeSico with 14. He's got as many as Fitzgerald. So, 14 points in yeah, a running clock fourth quarter. That's, that's unbelievable. Yeah, that's impressive, man. And this one saved by Harris almost went out of bounds. Harris. Having trouble holding on. They want it over and back. Harris fires the oh. home run pass. Oh my. Hits off the hands of Amakeskov. I'm not sure what's happening. And Coach Sean telling him to hold it. I think this should end the game. Yeah, this is going to do it. it. Looks like Carroll's going to hold it. Yeah. Not going to contest. Them whatsoever. And what an offensive performance Absolutely. by this Dukes team. 90 points. Who would have thought that? Yeah, it, it's just some unlikely. I mean, it's the right night. performances. It was the right night. Absolutely. And, you know, sometimes we've seen this Dukes team get a little cold shooting the ball, but not tonight. Tonight was everyone's night. I wonder how many threes. We shot that went in. Yeah, that was such a... And the three-point percentage. I mean, like... Yeah, and... and, and we didn't and, Ryan Bird, our stats guy. Yeah, and Nick, and it, what you said to me is, what you said earlier in the stream is, just how efficient this offense was, and that, that that's a glimpse of how good they could be. Just how efficient this offense was, and that, that that's a glimpse of how good they could be. And like you said, oh, this yeah. wasn't as strong of an opponent, but Proviso West is definitely better than they have been in years past. So when you look at this, this is a massive win, a huge confidence booster. You know, some of the guys found their shots early. You saw James DeSico, a guy who doesn't really play that much, come off the bench in the running clock fourth quarter, score 14 points. And just some some of these other guys just doing such a great job um, playing at such a high efficiency level. You, 
A.J. Levine, you know, maybe not the superstar performance, but he was doing his part. He was scoring at a decent rate, and he was also, you know, passing to some efficiency. And then, of course, Kyle Waltz was the star of the show, and Connor Fitzgerald off the bench. So I think, to your credit, Nick, like what you, think, what you were saying is, they keep this up. They could be in a really good shape, especially as they're just starting conference play out. Well, and, and when you see guys coming off the bench like James DeSico, we're just using that as an example. There have been other many great performances from guys off the bench this year. But coaches really love to see that because it gets, a, it gets a team, you know, pumped up. It's like, all right, every single guy in this roster can play. They can go out there and perform for this team. Just builds a level of, of confidence. And I guess, like, it's a conference, confidence yeah, booster for the yeah. coaches, too, because now you know, okay, my roster might be a little bit deeper than we thought it was. Okay, maybe my roster's, I don't, a little bit. Yeah, I don't have to worry yeah, about subbing out a guy for a couple minutes to get some rest, and another guy goes in who can knock down some shots, play some good defense. Like, that's great for a team that wants to go deep, obviously wants to continue to win. Go far in this season. Yes, absolutely. And with that being said, we're going to end the stream off here. Monster win for the Dukes. They win by 49 points against the Proviso West Panthers. Their final score, 90 to 41, led by Kyle Waltz's 21 points. With Nick Gargoni, I'm Connor Joy signing off. You are watching York Sports Network. Thank you and have an excellent night.